Hello friends, this video statistics part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 13. Till now what we have seen? To find mean deviation about mean, the first thing was to find mean. And that itself was a challenging task. If you have a huge data, it takes time to find mean. So here what we will do, instead of finding mean, we will just assume the mean. This is shortcut method. So in shortcut method what we do is, we just assume a mean that is, we feel it's a close to the data. So if we have a data, we'll take the midpoint and we'll say that's assume mean. So once we have the assume mean, so I'll write this assume mean here. So once we'll have this, this assume mean, we'll take this assume mean. Then what we'll do? If we see that there's a common factor for all deviation, then we divide them by the common factor to further simplify the deviations. This is called step deviation. It's not mandatory, but if the data is very big, for example, 1 lakh, 1000, in that case, we can divide by that value 1 lakh, and the data will come into in form 1, 2, 3, 4, which is easy to handle. If you have data in this form 1000, 2000, 3000, it's difficult to handle, but if you have data in this form 1, 2, 3, it's easy to handle. So we'll just divide those data by that number so to get the data in a simpler form. That is step is called step deviation, right? So we know that this deviation are just used to reduce the size of observations. Now, we know that we have the xi, the original xi. This is the assume mean we have and this is the step deviation we have. So we'll get a new value called d. d will be nothing but xi minus assume mean divided by step deviation. Correct? So once we have this d, we'll use this formula. The formula is pretty simple. This is the assumed mean which we have seen. This is FIDI summation by n into h. So in this case, we we uh, skip one step that was to find the mean. We have just assumed that a is the mean. Also, we went one step ahead by finding step deviation by dividing the whole thing by h. Right. So the formula came out to be a plus sigma fidi by n into h. Please remember this formula a plus sigma fidi by n into h. Please note this will give you mean. a plus sigma fidi by n into h. This will give you mean. Actually we didn't skip. We, we still are, we are still finding the mean but we are finding in a shortcut way. So we are finding the mean in the shortcut way. Once we have the mean again we have to use the same formula. There is no shortcut in the second step. We have to find the deviations of all the points from the mean, that is distance of all this point, the other point which we have from the mean, we have to then find fi into that distance and do summation. That step will still be there, but the only thing what we are doing is, we are making our life easy as far as finding mean is concerned. We'll take one example. So here using shortcut method, let's find the mean and mean deviation. Correct. Now if you see, this is 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80. It is all continuous. Correct? This is continuous. So I can say that this is a continuous frequency distribution. First step, what we'll do? We'll find the xi. So xi will be right here only. 10 plus 20 by 2, 15. 20 plus 30 by 2, 25. 30 plus 40 by 2, 35. 40 plus 50 by 2, 55. 50 plus 60 by 2, 55. 60 plus 70 by 2, 65, 70 plus 80 by 2, 75. So we have x size. Now let me draw the graph which we have earlier. So this is, let's suppose, is uh, marks. This becomes 10, 20. Correct. Then we have 20, 30. Then we have 30, 40. Then we have 40, 50. And then we have 50, 60. 60, 70 and 70. This value we have. Correct? Now let's have the frequency. The frequency is 2, 3, 8, 14, 8, 3 and 2. Now let me write the exercise. The exercise we have here 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, and 75. Now since we have FIXI now, 
what we'll do the next step is to find d d is nothing but a light here d is nothing but xi minus assume mean let's suppose we'll take assume mean so which is the middle guy 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 are there the middle is this 45 so let's assume 45 is the mean just assume mean it's not the correct mean we'll now find the exact mean let's assume this mean so this is assume is 45 by h h to find h first let's see what is the value of xi minus 45 for all these values so let's find first xi minus 45 let's do that xi minus 45 15 minus 45 is nothing but minus 30 correct 25 minus 45 is nothing but minus 20 35 minus 45 is minus 10 45 minus 45 is 0 55 minus 45 is nothing but 10 65 minus 45 is 20 and 75 minus 45 is 30 so if you see there is a factor common factor that is 10 there is a common factor called 10 in all these values so we will say that h is equal to 10 correct so we will say h is equal to 10 so we will find d here d is nothing but xi minus 45 by 10 so this will become minus 3 this will become minus 2 minus 20 by 10 minus 10 by 10 minus 1 0 by 10 0 10 by 10 1 20 by 10 2 and 30 by 10 that is 3 this is what we have got d correct now we have to find fidi so let's find fidi to find fidi this is di actually so we will multiply this and this correct so let me put a tick mark here these two values tick mark here here and here we will multiply these two 3 into 2 is minus 6 3 into again minus 2 is minus 6 8 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 8 14 into 0 is 0 8 into 1 is 8 3 into 2 is 6 and 2 into 3 is 6 this is the value of FIDI correct we will add this because FIDI is Hamish is required correct because the formula which we had was for a mean exact mean is nothing but nothing but assume mean plus sigma FIDI by n into h correct so let's find this value 6 plus minus 6 plus 6 cancel minus 6 plus cancel minus 8 minus 8 cancel this is 0 so this is 0 since this is 0 everything is 0 so our assume mean is nothing but the exact mean is nothing but the assume mean so assume mean and exact mean are same this is by luck we have got but generally we don't get this so we have to actually find the exact mean so exact mean is also 45 so half battle one. Half battle is one. Why? Because we have the mean now. We have the mean. We can find the mean division about the mean. So let's find first x i minus x mod because we have to find the division about mean for all the values of x i. That means this value and this value subtraction. This this minus forty five. So fifty minus forty five. If you say you take mod, this value comes out to be thirty. So this value is thirty because this is 15 here right so what I am doing here I am taking this value I will put a uh, square here and from this I am subtracting 15 sorry 15 45 because 45 is a mean so 15 minus 45 mod is 30 next is 25 so 25 minus 45 mod will also be will be 20 this guy is 20 Similarly, next value is 35. So 35 minus 45 mod will come out to be 10. This guy is 10. Next guy is 45. 45 minus 45 mod comes out to be 0. Correct? This guy is 0. Similarly, next is 55. 55 minus 45 mod is again 10. Because we are taking only positive part. This guy is 10. Next guy is 65 here. 65 minus 45. 65 minus 45 mod is nothing but 20. This guy is 20. Similarly, next value is 75. So we have to find 75 minus 45 mod. That is the distance between 75 and 45. That came out to be 30. So this is 30. But this won't do. This won't help. We have to find Fi into Xi minus P. That's the formula. The formula we have is mean deviation is nothing but sigma of xi into x mod mean 
into F i the whole thing by n. Correct. So we have to find F i into x i minus x dash mod. So what we have to do? We have to multiply this and this. So let me put a star mark in both cases. Make my life simple. This both are star mark. Let us multiply. 2 into 30 is 60. 3 into 20 is 60. 8 into 10 is 80. Then in 14 into 0 is 0. Then we have 8 into 10 again is 80. Then we have 3 into 20 is 60. And then we have 2 into 30 is again 60. Correct? We'll add this value. We'll add this value 60, 60, 120, 80, 200, 280, and 120 is 400. This value is 400. Correct? So this value is sigma fi into xi minus mod is 400. And n we know is nothing but sigma of fi. Correct? So we'll add this value. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 8, 13. Plus 14 is 27, 35, 40. This is 40. So this value is, this comes out to be 10. And that is our answer. So you know in the last example also we did the same question. We found using the longer way, this is the shortcut way. And both the case we got same answer. So the only thing that helps us in the shortcut way is to find the value of mean in an easy way. So here if you see what we have done, we have assumed 45 is the mean. And then we have found all the uh, values of xi minus 45. We got these values. We saw 10 is common. So we took x equal to 10. We got these values. We did the summation of this. We got sigma fi di. This value was 0. The original mean is nothing but a plus sigma fi di by n into h. This came out to be 0. So the original mean is nothing but assume mean. So we got this original mean or the actual mean is nothing but 45. So once we have the actual mean, we use the same formula which we have used in the last examples to find the value of mean deviation about the mean. Now let's discuss. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.